And the word of the week is play, P-L-A-Y. That's right, play. And I want you to think back of when you were younger and the favorite toy that you had that you used to play with. Um, who did you play with? Or, or think about the imaginary fun that you used to have playing with rocks or playing in the sand and the dirt and these imaginary worlds that you could create um, during play. Um, play is a crucial role and play is a crucial role in our development. Um, and one of the important things that plays does is how we interact with others, how we um, build our social emotional intelligence through play by interacting um, with others. Um, play, um, sometimes you have to play by the rules and, and think what that does for our social emotional intelligence and um, play is so critical and crucial um, to our development. Um, this is where I really miss us not being able to um, be in class together um, because in class what you would have been doing is actually playing and we would have played some games and um, you would have been able to actually um, through these games really learn um, the importance of play. I hope all of you are staying safe um, but think about right now um, with all of us being home um, we have to take these mental breaks. Um, what mental breaks are you taking um, to support your overall growth and um, just being healthy um, during this critical time that we're in? Um, some people love just, if it's going out for walks outside, if it's reading a book, if it's um, coloring, um, play can also be a great thing to do um, to relieve stress. And sometimes we just have to um, maybe play a board game, um, do things that we wouldn't ordinarily do, ordinary do um, to be able to break the tension, um, to recreate the environment, to laugh. Um, and that's what play can do for us. And that's why play is so important for children because in this time of interacting with different tools, manipulatives, props, people, friends, um, they're learning and they have no idea that they're learning. And it's up to us, the adult, of what role we play to ensure that the play supports the overall development um, of the child. So play is a very um, social um, part of our development. And we need play to be able to learn how to... Um, work in the environment of relationships and the back and forth, learning the rules, our moral development, our social emotional, our cognitive um, development. Right now, a big game um, for my little ones and I are actually two games. We're playing, playing Jenga. Jenga is a really great game. Um, even the twins love it too. They're having a lot of fun with it. We're, we're, my wife and I are very surprised that they're having fun um, with that game. And for my older one, I'm really introducing her and, and supporting um, her cognitive development, um, her executive function skills. Um, we're playing Hi Ho Cherio um, and Shoots and Ladders and some board games um, that she has to follow the rules um, and be able to navigate um, and play the game within those rules. Play is so critical and so important. So what I have for you this week to really learn about the importance of play um, is the article right underneath um, this video. And the article really breaks it down to parents. Um, 10 things that every parent should know about play. And in the beginning of the semester, I talked about that I was gonna be able to provide you information that would empower you to change your life and also the lives of others. And this article really does that. Um, it gives you 10 really great um, examples of why play is so important. It gives you links to other articles um, as well. And just a really great article that sets the tone um, for this week. After that article, what I have for you um, are some videos. And the first video it's called The Importance of Play. This is just a really great video that really um, enhances our conversation and our work this week around play. Um, so go ahead and um, check that out. 
And then I have some other videos um, for you as well. Um, Playful Inquiry, um, that's, a, that's a great work f word for all of you that um, are going into the field of social work and also um, but wanting to become educators um, and even in child development, um, inquiry, playful inquiry um, is, is a, a great video for you to watch and, and, and have a better understanding about. Um, and then the last video is what can, uh, what play can teach us. Um, so great videos um, there for you guys to interact with and play with um, during this week. After those videos, it prepares you um, for the question of the week. Um, so make sure that um, you've read chapter 15, um, that you've had some time to read the article and also watch those videos. And so what I want you to do this week um, with your question of the week is define and give one example of all the types of play that this book, our book talks about. Um, so it's right there, but I think it's very important for us to learn about the different types of play and then for you to be able to give an example um, of that kind of play so that we can connect um, what the book is telling us and connect it to the real world. Um, and the second question is, please tell all your classmates and tell me um, why play is an important part of children's learning and their development. And so these are both of the questions that you'll be answering, interacting with each other. Um, once again, it's due on Friday. And then to get um, all the credit, um, you will have um, a response to one of your classmates by Sunday. You have a quiz um, that's also due by Sunday. And there's a PowerPoint on chapter 15. And then I include a little bit more on play. Um, the National Association for the Education of Young Children is a great resource, and I want you to have this resource. Um, this class is all about, after you um, move on from this class, that you will have a whole bunch of tools and resources to be able to change your life and also the life of others. And this is one of those websites that I think you need to bookmark um, and, and save, um, just like um, some of the other websites I've given you um, like the Harvard University um, Developing Child website. Um, you'll see the NYC Play and Child's Learning link. Um, you can go to that, and this is a great link that tells you once again, enhances the conversation, why is play important. You'll see the original article that I gave you, um, 10 Things Every Parent Should Know About Play. And then after that, there's um, some additional articles, Five Essentials to Meaningful Play. Um, how to support children's learning um, and how to play with them, how to maximize your play with them. Um, what is big body play and why is it important? Um, and there's also an article in Spanish there um, as well. And then it goes down to play in action and um, a lot of um, great articles that enhance our conversation about play. Um, have some fun this week, enjoy the videos. Um, play is um, one of my favorite weeks of this class. I think it's the foundation of one of the most important things of this class. And I need you to think about, you know, when we were together and I always ask you, what are the top five things you've learned so far? What are the top seven things that you learned so far? And for me, um, the word play is one of those big um, key things that I want you to take away from um, our semester. Play is critical, it's important, it's fun, um, and it provides a strong foundation to support those brain connections. So as play is very um, social, emotional in our environment, um, it also supports our cognitive development, and that's why play um, is so critical. So I think it's very important for you to make those connections that when children are playing, they're connecting the cognitive and the social emotional done at the same time if play is done correctly. And it's up to us, the adults, to create these environments that support that child to maximize the wonderful outcomes of play. So we set up the environment of play and as successful we are to create a great play environment, 
then we're gonna allow that child to make all those wonderful connections in their brain, and then the play can even support rich experiences that support rich vocabulary, higher vocabulary sizes, um, can support cognitive development, literacy development, social emotion development, moral development, executive function skills. I mean, the list can go on and on and on um, of why play is so important. So enjoy this week, have fun. I think you have some great resources there that you can add to your tool belt um, and carry on with you um, for the rest of um, your life.